Hey everyone, I'm going to do a colourful pour. I've shown you the photos of the colours I'm using so you can see that they were a variety of colours. They're all mixed with Floetrol and a few of them that you will see have an S marked on it. They contain silicon. And I'm going to do I've been wanting to do this for a while and I've seen other people do it and then I had a friend do it the other week and I thought it was awesome so I felt that now it's time to do it for myself so it's the swirl technique but not just one uh, several smaller ones and then tilt it around to fill up the board so this is a 6mm thick, 13 inch round uh, MDF board and on that let's get to it. Oh, sorry. I'm just going to go randomly with the colours. There's no plan. I just, I wanted bright and colourful. That was it. And I thought this would be a great technique for that. So it's really just what calls to me will be the next colour. And I'm going to give it a little swirl. So there's only three colours in there. But there's already a lot of paint in the cup. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to do it left handed. So a little bit of extra, extra challenge. Here comes the green, there we go. Nice, so what I'm actually going to do is leave that in there and add some more colours. Let's see how this one goes. I'm sticking with the left hand just because I can. Bit of a swirl. Oh, the colour is coming out there. You can see in that one I slightly rotated my cup at, while I was doing that. So, there's a lot of paint already on the board so maybe one more with orange. Because what goes in this cup is what's going to come out last. What goes in this cup first, sorry is what's going to come out last. I did have this mixed browns in here, but I think I'm going to leave it out. Okay. Right. 
green. Oh, it's so dripped. Clutz. Bit of the silver in there. And a bit more yellow. Oh, what a nincompoop. Can't believe that. Okay, that might pour off. Okay, so I'll give that a little stir. <laughs> Colourful with that. Okay, stick with the left hand. Rotate the cup around just a little bit. Hmm, question is, I'm going to give it a tilt now and then see how much, whether or not I feel like I need to do another one, maybe in this section of red, that it's very plain. Oh, that looks amazing. That through right there. That looks beautiful. that blob of the green it's pretty much rolling under and off <laughs> thank you Keep going around this part. Sit it there for a moment. Have a look. Okay, so I'm going to focus on this area here and because the paint is still moving, albeit quite slow. So. Definitely would like some orange, yellow, and let's see, some orange. Yellow, they call me Mama Yellow. Well, not me exactly. And I think this emerald green, which I think looks more like mint. I've said that all along, so. Cleaned out a couple of containers to mix up a fresh new batch, so that's nice. Focus this one here. Oh. 
Well, I didn't feel that there was much of the yellow come from that, but we certainly got the orange. The yellow is around here, so it might open up as we give it a bit more of a tilt. Let's see. Here, this bluey purple is moving down. Almost. Okay, so we certainly have a lot of colour, and now, hmm, I think we just need to bring that bit of blue, bluey purple back. Bring it back, bring it back. Okay. All right, tilting away. And I'm just trying to create the circle, keep it in a rounded form. Okay, like steering wheel <laughs> there we go I'm happy with that now let's torch it and see what's going to happen because there was some silicon in there so is so pretty bunches of tiny little cells a lot of paint on this side just here i just need to bring that over the edge and There we go. Wow. Well, I'm happy. I set out to do a colourful painting. I set out to do uh, the swirl technique in a style that I haven't done before. And for all of it, oh, I love it. So let me just get you down and give you a closer look. Here we are. Okay. This bit had the silver. It's very pretty. I love how it shimmers, those metallics. The cells just popped up individually. I love it. 
like they haven't taken over. They've stayed in their lines. How remarkable is that? The additional extras. These lines. Very bright, very bold. Exactly what I was after. That is beautiful how that comes down there. With that orange. That is such a beautiful orange. It has to be my favourite. It's the uh, Montmartre yellow orange. So there we have it. And this is what it looks like dry. So I am really thrilled with this. I was concerned that some of the paint, especially this section here, was very thick and this bit here. And luckily we had uh, some really cool, cool rainy days and uh, so it allowed the paint to just dry um, slowly, if that's the right word. And there are no cracks whatsoever. Everything is dried as it was. The metallic in there, the silver, is divine. different colors it's so bright and vibrant it was exactly what I was after so I'm really thrilled with that and I hope you enjoyed that so there we go I'm going to work out whether or not this is something that I add to a nice beautiful like bold symbol or something like that or whether I turn it into a clock um, or what like I just don't know yet or I'll just leave it as it is so yeah I get some of that glare off if I take glare from one spot it turns up in another <laughs> all right guys there we have it the dried piece as beautiful as it was the day it was poured all right, there you go. Thanks so much for being with me and I hope you enjoyed that. All right, be fabulous. All right, bye.